What does, Nathan, what does progressive sanctification look like in a believer's life? Well, I mean, I think of the verse in Peter where he talks about growing in grace in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, and, and, you know, growth, growth is helpful to think of what, you know, what, what growth is like. Growth in kids, growth in plants, you know. Um, growth is something that, that from day to day, you can't, you can't see a dramatic amount of change. But over longer time periods, there's a lot of change. And, and, and growth in our, in our sanctification, similar to that, we, we become increasingly conformed to the image of Christ. Uh, we, we, we have our, our minds renewed, um, as that, that verse describes. We begin to think more like the Lord would have us to think. Um, we, we respond to the Spirit and, and, and deal with sin that comes up and, and, you know, and apply, apply Romans 6 to sin issues in our lives over which uh, the Lord promises we, we should have victory, that, that sin shall not have dominion over us. And so we're increasingly dealing with matters of sin. Our life is increasingly brought under the control of the Holy Spirit. Uh, we, we, we come to, to live more and more like the example and teaching of our Lord in Scripture. And, and, and as, as we do that, it's, it's progressive sanctification. Everything my brother said is totally in agreement. I am totally in agreement. There's one thing that I would like to add that last year was kind of brought to my attention and it, it has really been helpful to me in sanctification. Um, when I look at my life over the last 35 years, when I was younger, I thought I would have been further along than I am right now. I, I, I really thought I would be more like Christ than I am. I thought my sanctification would have grown continued in an extraordinary fashion, and I don't see that. I do see I've grown. But I always want to make it so clear that I preach and I want to be sincere, but you and I are exactly alike. There, there's no super saints. Remember what I said, there's only one hero in this story, and it's Jesus Christ. But there is something in my life that has grown in the last 35 years tremendously that is a part of sanctification that I've almost never heard anyone mention. Part of sanctification is growing in our recognition of our need of Him. When I first became a Christian, I said I needed Him. I had no clue what that meant. Over the years, in, because of my weakness, because of seeing that I, I didn't become all that I had hoped I would become, there is one thing that has grown in me and become, I've become so convinced of that it is 100% everything is Jesus Christ and His grace. Absolutely everything that His atonement was sufficient. And, and I recognize that. And there's one statement that John Newton made in the only hymn that is, to me, he basically says, I will have one boast above all other Christians. And you take all the other Christians in heaven and I will have something to boast about more than all of them. And I so identify with what he said. He said that of all of God's children, I will have needed him the most. And I think that's an aspect of sanctification. <laughs>